shows like Tiny Toon Adventures or Power Rangers. Also wearing your cat backwards and having a pair of shades made you think you were the coolest kid in the block. If there ever was a big thing that kids have debated and fought over in discussions during recess or lunchtime, it would have to be the very first console war between Nintendo and Sega, Mario vs. Sonic. If you're a Sega kid, you are buying all the Sonic merchandise, playing all the Sonic games that came out of the Genesis Master System and Game Gear. Shoes, watches, McDonald's toys, watching the cartoons and reading the comics. During the 1990s, Archie Comics acquired the rights to make Sonic the hit. Radical Dude with a toad, new and upcoming star, his very own comic book. Found in 1933, Archie Comics is also the title of the company's longest running publication. Well, Archie. <laughs> yeah, wonder how cool it'd be if DC or Marvel would name its itself after its own comic characters. Anyway, off topic here. Personally never got into the actual Archie comics themselves, but I was introduced to Archie by the 2000's Archie's Weird Mysteries cartoon. Not one of the best ways to get introduced to the franchise, but hey, it's a start. Now, the company has lasted this long. From what I can gather, it's a story about a redhead freckled teen hanging out with his friends and is also a ladies' man, constantly having two girls fight over him. It sounds to me like another typical anime plot. But over the years, the comic has dealt with some rather interesting topics and crossovers from, for instance, Characters dating either people of the same gender or a different race, teaming up with the likeness of Kiss and even the Punisher. And they've even killed off Archie himself in one of the side comics as well. So, they have been doing something. After all, it's easier to still keep in business. And it's also helped that they've been publishing other comics as well, such as Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And some superhero comics, The Fly, Mighty Crusaders, and recently in 2011, acquired the rights to do a Mega Man comic, just to name a few. Uh, during the years, they came out with several animated comics, I mean, cartoons, based on their hit carts, uh, blah, blah, blah. comics, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and of course, Archie, during the late 60s and 70s, even the 80s, and with the show I just mentioned earlier, in the early 2000s. As of making of this video, the main Sonic comic series is currently over 260 I issues long. This is by far the longest uh, uh, comic book ever that is based on a video game. That is really awesome. The series is the main basis of the Archieverse, with several spin-offs, comics such as an adaptation of Sonic X and a brand new Sonic Boom. Specials that have features more game elements and crossovers with other comic books and video game characters throughout the years. The series features a mixture of characters, settings, and storylines from the Sonic Sadie Game cartoon show, the Sonic the Hedgehog video game by Sega, and various other incarnations of Sonic. It also includes many elements unique to the comic universe. The comic has recently received a reboot in its issue 252 due to the events that took place in the Sonic and Mega Man 12 issue crossover, Worlds Collide. And with the reboot comes new origin stories, new redesigns for the Sad AM characters, 
and new original characters for the books. Sadly, the real reason behind the reboot was because of legal issues with one of the former writer's artist contenders. Soon both Sega and Archie Comics for wanting to own their characters he created for the old universe. And oh boy, did he make a lot of important ones that were important to this to certain plots of the comics universe. Benders eventually won the rights to his characters. However, if he were to make his own comic, he can no longer use the original character design since Sega owns that Sonic the Hedgehog look and Archie Comics can publish and sell the older comics with those characters but can no longer use them on the reboot. After 20 years of doing Sonic the Hedgehog comics, and as long as it gains support from its fans, Archie Comics will continue making them, and with the reboot, we'll come up with new stories and adventures with the characters that we all grew up with. And along with the new generation fans that are just getting to know them. Next time, we'll talk about the actual comic itself, from, the, from its beginnings to its present. Thank you for watching. Whoa, Archie's here. Daddy's here. Veronica too. Reggie's here. And here comes Jughead and Hot Dog too. So everything's Archie. Come on, let's go with the Archie Show.